Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Teague, Fred Anderson, Toyota's Toyota Car Care Talk. We're going to give you tips, pearls of wisdom, advice about service, repair, and maintenance. We've got Adam Newton here today. Adam, why don't you remind the people, what brings you here? Well, good morning. Uh, I'm here to help out with uh, some of the questions we have about care and maintenance on our car. I'm a master diagnostic technician, been at it for about 24 years, and glad to offer anything I can at this, definitely. All right, excellent. I think you can add a lot of um, expertise and maybe be a, an excellent worldwide resource on this one because somebody wants to know, I have a hybrid. How long is that battery going to last? Right. That's that's a question we hear a lot here. And, you know, honestly, our batteries last an extremely long time, Jeff. We're seeing cars in the second generation of our Prius line that are just now getting their first batteries. We're seeing 20-year lifespans on these, 200-plus thousand miles on some cars. It's a very rare exception that you see a battery come out of these things ahead of time. Um, they're very robust, and Toyota's definitely done their homework here. Okay, that's fantastic. Right. Now, if somebody has a nickel metal hydride battery or if they've got a lithium ion battery, right. is there any other differentiating between those two as far as length or care or anything like that? From the customer's perspective, Jeff, I don't think you'll ever know unless your mechanic was to tell you what type of battery pack you have in your mm. car because Toyota lays out their architecture to take care of the battery itself. Um, the computers in the car know how to charge at what rate and allow the discharge rate and they take very good care of themselves. So unless you were ever told, you probably wouldn't know. Um, particular to nickel metal hydride, they tend to charge a little more slowly and discharge a little more slowly than the lithium ion. And they're that, heavier too, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. um, but you're probably not going to notice that from the driver's seat. I don't think that's something you'd probably ever pick up on, honestly. Okay, that's interesting. Now, let's talk about a couple different daily life experiences. Let's say um, if I'm somebody who buys a hybrid and I just really go five to 15,000 miles a year, to the stores, to my kids' events maybe, to church, things like that, just daily driving that we all do, is that different for the expected life cycle of a battery in, let's say you're a cab driver in right. New York City and you're gonna put 100 to 200,000 miles per year, does it matter life cycle, life expectancy, if you drive it a ton per year versus just regular or even low driving? It typically doesn't. Um, we're not seeing a lot of battery replacement issues around guests where we're advising them to care for their battery in a specific way, i.e. have it driven more. Um, one thing that we do like to make sure they're aware of is if you drive a very small amount, they want to see this car start and run for a minimum of 30 minutes a week. And that's oh. usually enough to help them maintain the, vo the voltages that need is in the battery, and the car does have the capacity to charge itself. So we do recommend if you don't do anything else, just crank it up and let it run for 30 minutes a week, and that will keep you on the line. Yeah. And in, in your experience, is there anything, let's say you told 10 different people, this is probably the minimum amount of miles that you can expect your hybrid battery to last. Is, is there anything that you could say just even being conservative? Conservatively, I mean, I would say a minimum of 100, 150,000 miles minimum. And that is the base minimum. I am really not seeing a lot of replacement of hybrid battery packs, either under warranty or under the customer pay service, not even after accidents. I mean, we're not seeing a lot of fragility on that system. It really does seem to be extremely robust. Okay. Well, that's real interesting. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much, Adam. We appreciate it. If you have any questions for our Toyota Car Care Talk, just leave it in the comment section. We'll include that in future videos. Thanks again so much, Adam. Always. Really appreciate it. Glad to help. Okay. Have a great day, everyone.